want to quickly show you a couple ways to file a flight plan on Pilot Edge. Go to PilotEdge.net, go to the Pilot Center, and file a flight plan. Now you will have to have a, an account and you do have to log in and we'll ask you to log in if you're not already logged in. First thing we do is go to IFR, enter your, then you enter your call sign through Pilot Edge. I would use the same one all the time in case they lose something or you're going for some ratings. We're Cessna 172 for the airfoil labs. Cessna 172 SP. We're going to look for the slash special equipment. And in the case of the airfoil labs, it's a slash golf. It has a, an altitude reporting transponder and GPS. And that's basically what that says there. Plug in 110 knots true speed. KSNA, so departure. In this case, we're doing a round trip, so that's what we'll file. Say 3000. And alternate, you can put in K Fullerton or whatever. Fairly close. We're going to put in KSNA, SLI, which is a Seal Beach Vortac, and then KSNA. On the remark section, We'll just put in uh, request ILS and that's it. You just file it and that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is inside of X-Plane. It's probably a little easier. We're in X-Plane 10.5. This procedure will change in X-Plane 11. It's a good change. Go to the plugins. Go to Pilot Edge, connect. You have to enter your call sign, the aircraft, and that's good for that. You want to cancel or connect. Connected to Pilot Edge. If you don't connect, when you come next time you come up, flight plan won't be highlighted. So we'll go into that now. Gives you a slash golf. The airports. You would enter all this data. I've already entered it once, but you'll do it again. You file IFR. We'll cancel out of that for now. 